million parents get a crash course in social media. A meeting tonight will educate adults about one app that could get students in trouble. The anonymous app Yik Yak has caused more than one scare at schools. Jenna James joins us live now with why parents should be on it. Jenna, good morning. Yeah, Damon Cerise, Yik Yak is one of the most popular apps right now, actually hitting in the top 10 in recent months for most downloaded. Now, very similar to Twitter, the app allows users to post short messages anonymously, and those messages can only be seen by those in your area. Now, social media expert Karen Hasse says parents should definitely have this app, even though you can't directly monitor your child. If you get on Yik Yak and your kid's on Yik Yak, you, you won't really be able to tell what Yik Yak your student has sent. Uh, but it does kind of give you a sense about the culture of the, the what your student is seeing when they're on Yik Yak. It gives you a feel for the culture of the area that you're in. Now, the reason this one is on Hasi's radar is because of the cyberbullying that can come from the anonymity of it. Now, even worse, students think that they can get away with making threats on the Yik Yak app. In February, York High School senior Ryan Boyer was arrested after posting a bomb threat against his school on Yik Yak. In fact, the arrest affidavit shows he was heavily bullied on social media, which may have led to his own threat. Now, Hasi tells me that there have actually been three bomb-type threat posts on Yik Yak just in Nebraska area schools in this semester, so definitely something to watch out for. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk about what you should do if your child is being cyberbullied. Reporting live, Jenna Janes, WOWT 6 News. Five.